Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Life with Patty. And it is Sunday afternoon. It is so beautiful here today. I mean, if we're not going to have rain, we might as well have beautiful, right? Like, we need rain. Um, but we don't have rain in the forecast for the next 12 days. So, uh, it's 72 outside. There's no no wind. It's just beautiful. So I just got back from taking Jenny for a walk around the barns. And um, yeah, we had a good walk. This might look like pajamas, but it's not. It's actually a, what do you call it, jogging outfit or a sweatsuit my friend Mary gave to me. And it's a little big, but it's so comfy. And if somebody knocks on the door, I mean, nobody ever does, but <laughs> if somebody knocks on the door, I'm dressed. So, anyways, I'm here today to do a movie review. Looks like I've got five movies there, but I actually have seven because two of them are double packs. And um, so, they're all fairly old, of course, except for Sully, the first one. I think this is my newest one of this bunch. It's, it's starred in, with Tom Hanks. It is a true story. Um that he is an airline pilot and some birds, you guys probably heard this on the news. It was, I don't know, but I want to say maybe eight or so years ago, maybe, no, maybe longer than that. No, I don't know, maybe eight or 10 years ago, but some geese flew into the propellers of the plane. And um, so it, of course, you don't have your propellers working and it ruins the plane. And so, um, he had to make a fast decision to land the plane in the Hudson River. Okay. It is a true story. It shows where, you know, of course, he's the hero to all of the staff and the passengers on the plane. But then when he, get, when he gets off and calms down, they try to point the finger at him that he was at default and they really put him through the ringer um, and try to, instead of defaulting the plane or, you know, because of the bird's condition, they try to blame it on him. And so he has to go to court and um, it's a big, long, drawn out thing, but you see in the movie and it is a true story. And when you read the end captioning, it's just astounding. It's amazing. It's a really good movie. I recommend it to everybody i it's just a really good movie and when movies are based on a true story you know it's um makes it all that much better so good story very good all right second one we just watched these yesterday sister act one and two i mean i am not happy with whoopi goldberg as a person right now but these movies are great my mom used to love both these movies and um she plays a great role in here, and she is hiding in the first one from her boyfriend, who is part of the mafia, so they send her off for protective services to the convent, and she ends up, um, you know, helping with the choir, and they, uh, the nuns all love her. It's a great cast, and then in the second one, they call her back to help with the Catholic school, St. Francis, in San Francisco, and uh, she puts a choir together with them and they go for a competition and the school is ready to close because of funding. And it's just a really feel good movie. They're great movies. Like I said, I'm not happy with Whoopi Goldberg right now, but I do like the movies. Okay, Maid of Honor is one that we've watched several times. I don't know how popular it is with a lot of other people, but it stars Patrick Dempsey. And I can't remember what her name is. Um, but at one point they were dating for like a second and, um, then they became best friends and he makes a lot of money and he's a very, um, he's a playboy, so to speak, you know, he's, um, always with a different woman and he's got rules for them. They can't have two dates in a row or no sleepovers or whatever, you know, he's kind of into himself, but when it comes to her, she's his best friend. And um, she goes off to Ireland, and at that point, he realizes 
that nobody takes her spot. You know, when he goes out with these girls on dates, they don't do the same fun things that they do when these two go out for dinner or coffee or donuts or whatever. And um, he's going to tell her when he when she gets home that he's in love with her and he wants to be with her. And when she gets home, she has fallen in love with an, Ir an Irish guy. And um, it's funny because he played in Grey's Anatomy and the guy she falls in love with is the other doctor who plays in Grey's Anatomy. So I thought that was kind of weird. Um, but anyways, and so then you'll see from there what happens and he wants to win her love back, but he wants to be a good friend. And um, so, you know, I mean, if you watched My Best Friend's Wedding, she doesn't get uh, the groom. That's her best friend. So I'm not going to tell you what happens in this one, but it's a great movie. We've watched it several times, and I'll watch it again. The next one, I don't know who of you, if you have not watched Matilda, I want you to comment below and say, I've never seen Matilda. This is my granddaughter. This is one of her favorite movies. This one and Curly Sue. And I can't find Curly Sue right now because I have so many movies. It's buried somewhere. Um, but Matilda is played by, I don't know who she is, let's see, but Danny DeVito and Rhea Perlman, which is Danny DeVito's wife in real life, Elizabeth De DeVitz, Pam Ferris, and Mara Wilson. So, um, Matilda's born, and they they just, they didn't even want a kid. They have her in her car seat. They put her in the back of the station wagon on the way home, and they kind of just leave her be, and she is a genius. She's an absolute genius. She's brilliant. She teaches herself to read. Um, she wants to go to school, but they don't want her to go to school because she uh, has to stay home to sign for parts because he's a used car salesman. And um, it's just, she finally gets to go to school. She meets a teacher that she just bonds with. And um, so I, I, I just want you, to, it's just a cute movie. Everybody needs to watch it. It's, it's a great movie. And the last one I have is a double feature. So the first one is Robin Williams and Patch Adams. Oh, we've watched this movie maybe just three times in my life. I had, and it's based on a true story. And I, maybe I hadn't watched it for a long time. And then we watched it and we've watched it for like three times now since then where, um, he checks himself into a mental institute because he's having himself a breakdown. And it was the, it was the patients in the mental institute that helped him realize he wanted to be a doctor and he wanted to help other people with their illnesses. And, um, so then he goes through medical school and he's always kind of a rebel. He always like, it, you know, um, pushes his bound, his boundaries. And at first people don't like him for that. And then people love him for that. Um, and this is another one of those movies where I, I don't want to give all of it away, but, um, when you read the end of the movie where it tells, you know, all the stuff that happened, it's just really good movie. It's just such a great movie. Okay. The other one that he played in that we never watched until, um, last week and it's called what dreams may come now i asked rusty at the ozark duke if he's watched this because he and miranda uh miranda's halls and grub did i say it right dang it miranda's movie reviews halls and grub i don't know i always say her channel wrong i feel so bad but um They've both watched way more movies than me. I'm going to try really hard to link both of their channels in the description box below so you can go over and check them out. Um, and they both do other things. They don't just do movies. They do cooking and hauls and all kinds of stuff. So, um, But they've both watched way more movies than me. And I don't know how Rusty can remember all the movies, but I asked him if he'd watched this one. And he told me all about the movie, so he had watched it. It's just kind of bizarre to me. I, I don't know. It's just, it was a weird movie where he met this gal and they ended up falling in love and they got married and um, she was an artist. I want to remember right. And um, then their kids got in a, I don't want to give too much of it away. They had two children and they had some draw, some trauma with the children, and then the wife uh, passes away, and so then 
I, I can't, I don't want to give it away. I, if I say any more, it's going to give it away. Did I like the movie? Not really, but sometimes when I watch a movie for the first time, I don't get it all, and then I have to go back and watch it again. Will I watch it again? Probably so, because there was so much to this movie that if you didn't pay attention, you didn't get the whole gist of it. Um, I watch a lot of Robin Williams movies now, and I know that he killed himself in his own real life, and I wonder how long he was fighting those demons because so many of his movie, movies are based on that, you know? Yeah, even Patch Adams with the mental illnesses, this one with killing yourself. Um, it, it, it makes me realize I think he was fighting demons for a long time himself, poor guy. Um, I loved... Um, I loved Robin Williams in all his movies. So um, this is definitely one that I need to watch again and pay attention to it a little more. So it, it wasn't as great as Patch Adams or the other movies, but it's still okay. So those are my movies for this week's movie review. I don't do them weekly. I do them as we watch some movies. And um, so we just finished watching Sully today. It's been a really nice weekend. I went and visited my grandson in town yesterday, and then I went to the grocery store in Dollar General and got what I needed and came home. And um, today I haven't left the house other than to go out into our own, you know, yard and take a walk with Jenny. Um, and I've been coloring like crazy, and I made a couple cards and um, did some color, some cleaning and, you know, just. I call it puttering around the house. And so it's been a great weekend and we're probably going to watch another movie tonight. I'm going to make a uh, chef salads for dinner and we're going to watch another movie tonight. So that will be on my next movie review. But when I get between five and seven movies, then I like to do a movie review. So, all right, you guys, well, have a great day. Take care. Let me know in the comments how many of these you've watched or which ones you haven't. And, um, I always love when you guys give me ideas of movies that you really like. A lot of them I have. A lot of them I don't. I've got two in my shopping cart. One that Rusty recommended last time. And one that I saw um, on a preview from Sully. Can't remember which either one they are. but um, So I don't know if I'll, I'll get them. I'll put them on my wish list. Maybe my husband will get them for me for Valentine's. I don't know. So... All right, guys, have a great day. Take care. I'll see you back here real soon. Bye-bye.